Hey everybody, it's Blue from Blue Outside here. I've got 10 pounds of potatoes that I've already washed and I'm gonna uh, slice them through a food processor. Let's see, I paid $1.29 for five pounds, so roughly there's 10 pounds because I got two bags. So it's like $2.60. $2.60 for 10 pounds of potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these processed up. I'm gonna blanch them just to help with the cooking process uh, in the long term. And then um, I'll just, when I get these freeze dried, I'll bring you back, which will be short for you because it'll be all the same video. Uh, it'll be like 30, 35 hours for me. Um, what I'll do is I'll just show you what 10 pounds of potatoes pre weight, and then I'll show you 10 pounds of potato post weight. So, I mean, 10 pounds there. We'll show you what it's like afterwards, and then I will show you or tell you something online about buying. Uh, freeze dried potatoes and how much you know this is cheaper so i'm going to say i'm going to be able to process and deal with all these for less than five dollars that's including purchasing so just stick with me again 10 pounds of freeze dried potatoes start to finish so what i've decided to do is i'm just going to cut all the potatoes in half like this okay all right there we go magic of television i have 10 pounds of potatoes and all i did was have them I went ahead and re-rinsed them again just because. I had one that was had a bad spot. Thank God it was only the one. I've got a little bit of green right here. I'll just cut that off. On top. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these through the food processor. So what we'll do here. Okay. <clears throat> What this is done, obviously, is slice these like this. Okay, I'll go ahead and do these again. Bring you back. Actually, you know what? Let's do a little video where I do this, but we'll just speed it up so it's kind of cool. So, the first part of the 10 potatoes 10 pounds of potatoes so with a food processor you see how fast food prep goes finish these up I'll bring you up back um, I probably won't show you the blanching process blanching pretty much what you do is it's not pretty much it is what you do bring water up to a boil dump them in three or four or five minutes pull them out and immediately throw them in ice cold water or cold water cool them off okay so let me get these done. I'll bring you back. I'll show you what they look like when they're all done. We'll go from there. Okay, everybody. So I just processed the rest of those potatoes. You've seen the first bit. That took me a total of two minutes, 57 seconds to do the rest of the potato with the food processor. So I would say what, less than four minutes to process 10 pounds of potatoes with the food processor. And I could have shredded those and made like hash browns, you know, out of that. So. We'll go ahead and get these blanched. I'll get them on the trays and then I'll show you from there. Batch has been blanched. Uh, I have silicone mats. They sell silicone mats through Harvest Right and other people sell them that are already pre-cut for there. I just bought some off Amazon um, just because they were like eight bucks for two of them. I cut them in half, but on they don't completely cover the tray. So hopefully one day I'll be able to upgrade, but for $8, I'm not gonna complain because the other ones are like 40. So these are blanched potatoes, and um, I'm just going to lay them out. You kind of don't want them packed on top of each other because they won't uh, freeze dry all the way. And then you're just the thicker, the thinner you can get it, the better it's going to be. I've got all four of my trays that are ready to go in the freezer, full of potatoes. I still have. Uh, some that I've already blanched that are waiting to go on trays and I've got some blanching and another bowl full uh, so I'm going to have easily two batches now what I've done is well I'll show you these so you got these little my wife got these off Amazon for me so what you do is you stack your trays like this obviously you only need 12 of them so now your trays are stacked, I can set them all in the freezer just like that. That's how. So what I'm on, it's like, okay, so you got all this extra product, potato, whatever, you know. 
what do I do with it? Well, you can freeze it in one giant clump, then you have to break it apart, thaw it out, whatever. Such a waste of time. So what I found out is you go to the Dollar Tree and you buy their brownie pans. Okay? So the brownie pans aren't as long as the medium freeze dryer trays. But they are the same width. So what I'll do is I have seven of these. What I can do is I'll take four of them, fill them up, and then I'll take three of them because I don't have four. Or I could fill all of them up and then break it in half and then put them on here after they're frozen. So if they're already frozen on here, all I have to do is transfer them to here, these trays, take these trays, and then throw them in the freeze dryer. So like I said, I've got one batch here, I'll have a batch here, and I've got other batches going, you know, I've already got other batches in the freeze dryer ready to go. Okay, so that's just a quick tip. Anytime I find these, I kind of grab them because there's, you know, these, for a set of these, $60, $70. I've got seven for seven dollars it works and if i needed to in a pinch i probably could freeze dry in these you probably don't want to but you can all right so i will go ahead and put these in the freezer I was going to show you a little hack. If you notice, it says 37 degrees. What I'm going to do, it'll be 32 is what you want to do. And when it gets down below 40, what I'll do, is I'll put my frozen trays in. Okay. Okay. Just frozen trays. Okay. Frozen taters, hard as a rock. Look at that. Completely upside down, not falling off. All right, so I put them in. What I do is I seal it up, okay, and close it in. And what that'll do is it actually will bring the temperature down really quick because what I've done is I've taken those four trays, okay, the metal trays, plus the food. And it, this whole process right here, pre-freezing, doesn't take that long to begin with, but this is a little hack that will shake, it, it saves, I don't know, three or four minutes, which, you know, see, as you see, we're at 33 minutes of the process from when I first started, and we're already down to 34 degrees, and I was at 37 when I started the hack, and it was like seconds. And as soon as that hits 32, this screen will change and it'll tell me to make sure the uh, drain valve is closed. Oh, see, look at that. See, low food in the dryer. I already did that because that, you know, I mean, it was like just a hack that got down in there. I'll hit continue, okay? It'll go freezing. I know it's already freezing. What this is going to do is going to bring this. And see, we reset our timer. Let me get my finger out of the way. We reset our timer. And then we're at 31 degrees. This would go down to negative 5, 5 degrees, 0 degrees, something like that. And it'll kick on the vacuum. And this will say vacuum freezing, and then it'll say drying. Okay, here we are. Again, I got the big seal. I'll let all the air out. Pop this open. Look at them, see if there's, you know, these were all sliced thin, so they should all be dry. Again, I'm the final determining factor. Look at there. Okay, so these are ready to go. I'm actually going to eat one raw. Um, what we'll do is I'll get these ready and bag them up. Blue here. Let's go over the numbers for my 
freeze-dried potatoes. So I started off with 10 pounds of potatoes that I got for $2.58. After they were freeze-dried, I ended up with 29.38 ounces of potatoes, which by my rough calculations is a 72% drop in weight. At the time of this video on Amazon, you can get a one pound, one ounce, number 10 can of sliced potatoes, just like I did, for $23.24. That's 17 ounces of sliced potatoes. So I got 29.38 ounces minus their 17 ounces. I got 12.38 ounces more than they did, which is three quarters of a pound. So if you take their 23.24 minus my 258, that is the difference of $20.66. That's how much money I saved by doing my own freeze-dried potatoes. All right, everybody, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. If you can hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, it's greatly appreciated. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And remember, enjoy the outside.